Yo, what's up? Fuck, that was cringe. Oh my god. That was, I'm keeping that in the video too. That was just, I feel horrible now. Do y'all hate me now? That, like, I just, ugh. Oh man. That one took a toll on me. I'm sorry. But no, what's up with y'all? Welcome back to another video. I appreciate y'all getting me to 100 subs. I'm a little over that now, but thank y'all. I appreciate it. Keep up the support. I'm loving it. But without further ado, let's get to this ghost video brought to you by Nukes Top 5. That's my go-to guy with all the ghosts. Scary shit. And he, he the plug. That's He's the plug. That's all y'all need to know. But this is five ghosts caught on camera. Question mark. Poltergeist. So let's just get this going. Top five ghosts caught on camera. How y'all day doing? A geek thump. YouTuber Michael McGee has one of the longest running paranormal YouTube channels of all time. Michael claims that a ghost or some otherworldly entity has been following him for over eight years. And he no. says that he's captured multiple videos of this spirit on tape. So it should come as no surprise that Michael seems to remain relatively calm when confronted yet again with his supernatural stalker being on the ceiling. All right, so it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm in the house alone. Uh, Sean's gone to work, and as you can hear, uh, it's been stomping for about five minutes. Uh, I've just got the camera out, so I'm gonna go see if we can capture something on tape. Eight years, my nigga. You, uh... Hello? Of course it stopped. What the fuck? I know you're in there, you might as well show yourself. Yo, I wasn't even expecting, man. Oh my god. This shit got me sweating and the video just started. Bro, I was not expecting nothing to move or nothing to happen. <sighs> oh, oh, motherfucker. This is getting old. Nigga. Suicide. I'm, I'm playing. Don't do not do that. Do, don't, do not do suicide. I'm sorry. Unless you play sports, then you can do suicides. Other than that, don't do that shit. Or it'll come back That's to all point. What you then? You do anything else? Sorry, that me? was a bad joke. Let me stop. Anything at all? Hmm. Wasn't that just on? <clears throat> now, if you listen closely, you can actually hear some bizarre low voice seem to answer when Michael says hello Bro, before seen, walking into oh. the room. Hello? I know you're in there, you might as well show yourself. And after he enters the room, something seems to attempt to escape down the stairs. So is Michael haunted by some strange entity? Or is it all Damn just right. an elaborate hoax? An <laughs> eight year long one? Let me know what you think. By the way, if you want to see more of Michael McGee's paranormal investigations, be sure to check out his YouTube channel, Peekaboo. In this next clip, a ghost hunter called Yasa decides to investigate a supposedly haunted house in the Saudi countryside near the city Why? of Jeddah. Visitors have reported strange supernatural sightings at the location, and it is said that the voices of crying children can be heard coming from the abandoned house at all hours of the night. <laughs> What the fuck is he laughing for? Yo. <clears throat> sure enough, oh, within a few minutes man. of entering the house, Yasa begins to hear a strange noise that sounds like screaming. But he just laughs it off, asking, is this the voice of screaming children or not? Shoot. <laughs> 
prévu. So. However, Yasa becomes a bit more rattled when he begins to hear strange noises upstairs that sound like a small child's footsteps running across the floor. And then this. Into Samain. Some strange black shape seems to peek around the corner at him and then disappears back into the darkness. After this encounter, Yasa decides to make a quick exit from the house. So, Yasa claims that he caught a djinn or a ghost on camera in this abandoned haunted house. But what do you think? What you don't know can't hurt you. Hey yo, like I said before, you could not pay me to do no shit like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with ghosts. I'm gonna tell y'all some other stories about me living in this house right here, like this very house I'm living in, because this shit is haunted. I, no ands, ifs, or buts about it. This house right now is haunted. I'm a, listen, I'm not the only one with stories, but y'all might see everybody else later with their stories. But I'm gonna tell y'all, just keep keep a lookout for that. But and these these videos with the Saudi dudes, they're like the most believable ones because one, the, the video quality is always poop butt. So and this shit just, it just, it can't, it doesn't look staged enough. Like, it doesn't, that shit just looks like raw footage of doors flying and all type of shit happening. Listen, bottom line, hell no. So one of my own personal fears about putting up a motion-activated surveillance camera around my home is what I might see. Will I see something that never lets me sleep quite as soundly ever again? or will it just be random boring footage? Well, in this next series of clips, a security camera system became a nightmare for a man who put up a motion and voice activated camera in his detached garage after several unexplained occurrences. First, the camera just begins to pick up unexplained motion and sound in the middle of the night. Then, Electronics in the garage seemingly turn on and off all by themselves. What the fuck is that? I know y'all see that. What is that? Floating shit. And strange visual disturbances begin to be detected by the system's motion sensors. What is this? I should have just randomly add a jump scare in the middle of this video. Excuse me. Y'all see my nostrils get bigger? As long as nothing pops up, I'm straight. Like. And then, creepiest of all, late one night, a strange disembodied voice is detected by the security camera audio. Silence. Some otherworldly presence just seems to scream silence in a voice that sounds a bit malicious. So is this a ghost called on CCTV by motion and voice sensitive cameras? Or is it all just a hoax? You decide. The Hilltop House. I've mentioned in a couple of previous videos that I'm a big fan of YouTube urban exploration channel. This is Dan Bell. Basically Dan isn't a ghost hunter by any stretch of the imagination. He just explores abandoned buildings. 
and that's pretty much all he does. So if you see something weird happen in one of Dan's videos, then you can pretty much be sure that something weird actually happened. So someone sent me a link to this video of Dan Bell exploring the abandoned historic Hilltop House in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. As far as I know, it's one of only two videos of Dan Bell actually getting freaked out by something that could be supernatural. I keep hearing stuff upstairs. Capture some paranormal activity in his urban exploration <clears throat> video? Is that voice saying help? Or is it just some random natural sound? It should be noted that Dan himself says he was freaked out, but didn't claim to know what the strange sounds might have been. At around the 10 minute mark of this video, you'll see an incident that occurred that completely freaked me out, completely terrified me. I had to really fight to, to continue filming and to get the video done because Set a left. What, I drove all the way up here. I want to shoot this thing. I'm not going to chicken out and run out. Fuck I all just, that. it, the incident really freaked me. I you. care about safety. My safety. Fuck everybody else. Oh my God. No, I'm playing. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Haunting in Connecticut. Most people know the famous ghost hunting couple Ed and Lorraine Warren Cause from the The Conjuring is one of my favorite movies, I swear to you, yo. Y'all haven't if y'all fans of horror movies, y'all better have seen it or y'all not real fans. I don't care who you all are. I said who you are. Anyway, one of the best movies. Conjuring one and two. Is there a third one? I don't even know. But that Insidious one, two, and three. Anything in that con the Conjuring universe, Annabelle, all the shit like that, bro. Best horror movies, hands down. Some of the best. Go watch them shits. Conjuring movie series. But the real life Warrens claim to have filmed a few ghostly experiences all their own. No. In this Connecticut home, a family claimed that the house was haunted by an angry poltergeist that didn't want them there. The Warrens went to the home to investigate. One knock for yes, two for no. Are you a man? Are you a boy? You want the people in this house to move? One knock for yes, two for no. Yes. Okay. Who is it that you don't like the most here? Is it? Is it? Is it their father? Is it their mother? Oh my God. Okay. Ed Warren asks the spirit to reveal its identity, but he gets a very odd answer. Give me some sign. Is that you moving something? Give me some sign that you're here. The name of Jesus Christ. He said, Christ. here, nigga, you seen me moving. I command you to reveal <clears throat> your identity. Oh, on another no. night, the family's young daughter is attempting to do her homework at the kitchen table, but something decides to interrupt her studies. You tripping? The little girl is trying to do her homework, but you can see as the chair keeps sliding Nigga. backwards. You're holding it down, aren't you? Oh. It's got that much strength. Oh, to it. You, uh, got if you watch, you can see the little girl's <clears throat> legs are up on the rungs of the chair. Yes. I'm not staying there. I'm sorry. She's not pushing herself up do that. from the floor. The mother is not tipping that chair backwards. No. Nobody is touching that table. The table moves of its own volition. So is this a poltergeist caught on tape? Bro, let that shit happen while I'm while I was doing homework. Yo, bro, I would have lost my mind, bro. You would have never caught me. I would have ran away. I'm sorry. I would have ran away. You're not. 
I don't mess with stuff like that. <laughs> nothing that crazy ever happened. Did it? No, I don't think nothing that crazy ever happened, but I've definitely got some stories for y'all. Stay tuned. Or were the Warrens orchestrating an elaborate hoax? So most of the videos in this week's top five were actually sent in to me by viewers. And if you want... Hey, video over. Thank y'all for watching. 100 subs. <clears throat> really appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. You know, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Keep doing your thing. I'll see y'all later. Peace.